Big Angie side lost one nothing to Arsenal in the North London Derby. Well, last sports bar hosting two thousand League Cup winner. That will be interesting. We're talking to man uh, Jamie Hara if you regret saying this. I'm confident on Sunday that we're going to rock up and we're going to give them a whooping. Going to give them a whooping. Yeah. Place is going to be rocking. <laughs> <laughs> well, it yeah. didn't quite happen. The whooping never materialised, did it? No, Not no. I think, I think Arsenal effectively remained unwhooped. Now, Tottenham fans <laughs> That's were a taking... shambles. <laughs> <laughs> we're taking your call. Seven defeats in 11 games. Are you losing a bit of patience? Zero three seven one seven double two double three double four. Give us a call. We want to hear from you because it's Arsenal who are left in Tottenham Hotspur Stadium with all three points for the third. Yes, the third season in a row. 22. 23 Spurs nil Arsenal 2 23 24 Spurs 2 Arsenal 3 and obviously yesterday Arsenal winning the game 1-0 we're going to hear now from Spurs boss Ange Postacoglu who spoke afterwards to talk sports Alex Crook and you arguably had the best chances in the first half is there a frustration that once you went behind you didn't really create too much yeah a little bit um, but even the first half I thought yeah we, we had a better chance we had so many more great opportunities to create more yeah, really good avenues to goal that we, you know, and you've got to take advantage of that if you keep the opposition in the in the game, especially good teams. But any team, uh, there's always a chance that they'll go up the other end and, and capitalise. And um, so yeah, so look, like I said, it's 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 kind of the tale of our sort of season so far in all four games. Um, we haven't really capitalised on our good play, but like I said, that's up to me to fix. It was always going to be a feisty derby match. You picked up a lot of yellow cards, particularly in in that first half. Do you think in some ways that played into Arsenal, Arsenal's hands by making it a physical battle? I don't think it was. I didn't see the necessity for so many yellow cards, but, you know, I guess the referee decided that... But I didn't really think it was that kind of physical game. It was a tight game, but, you know, you expect it to be tight. Yeah, I don't think that had an effect. And just finally from me, Dom Solanke, obviously making his, his first home start. What did you make of his performance? Yeah, Dom worked hard, you know, had some half chances. You know, obviously he hasn't played, you know, in over a month now, so um, I'm sure that 90 minutes he'll feel better about and... Uh, Move on from there. Interesting stuff, Ali, from okay. uh, from Ange there uh, as well. Because um, look, he's always honest and he's always like to right right to the point. Brilliant. And he's bullish in other yeah. interviews after after the weekend in saying that he's still the man. He's still going to bring the silverware to Spurs. Um, and yeah. and I think this morning it's interesting to hear from the Tottenham fans because we've had a few texts starting to gradually filter mm-hmm. into talk sport tales. Please keep them coming in eight ten eighty nine on those texts. But a few of them are coming in, Ali. With and you just get the impression that one or two are starting to lose, yeah. as you mentioned earlier, a little bit of faith. Richard, I'm guessing you're in a good mood this morning. A very good morning to you. Good morning to you, boys. Hi, Richard. Morning, Andy. What did you think yesterday, Paul? Oh, well. well I mean, I, I am a massive Arsenal fan, as you'd probably get. But yep. what I'd like to say is, I think that the difference between the two managers, I think, is absolutely massive. Um, I just think that Arteta changed his plan, obviously because we had a good few injuries and we had a good few players out. And, 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 and Postacoglu, he just doesn't seem to... He doesn't seem to adapt to the situation at all. I mean, not having a set piece coach for a start I, is really coming back to hurt him massively. Um, you know, and in all fairness, I mean, how many of the how many of those Tottenham players do you think can get into the Arsenal first eleven? Not many. No, I don't think there's one. Yeah, no, it's, it's a, not many at all. No, no, no. And that doesn't. And, and that's not because. Um, Spurs have got a lot of poor players, Richard. They haven't, uh, but it's because Arsenal is a, as a, as a unit and as a team right now. Um, I can't think of many, yeah. Ali. Can you that are going to going to get no, into I can't. that team? I, I, I think I've got to be honest. I think Richard makes a fair point. But what, we're going to change over now. We've got Jonathan got another angle on it. Jonathan's obviously a Spurs fan who won't be as happy this morning. Clearly, Jonathan, a very good morning to you. How are you feeling this morning? Um. Well, as I thought I would, we didn't. Uh, none of us really thought Spurs were going to get a result. I think there is a huge gap between the two teams. Arsenal's performance was fantastic. The teams are world apart. As the Arsenal caller said, not one Spurs player will get into that Spurs team. They've got a phenomenal defence. They did what everyone's done against us this season. It's about 10 men behind the ball because they know when we get out wide, we do not have the quality to break anybody down. I'm afraid the likes of Johnson and Werner aren't good enough. Son has gone off the boil. But I think the manager is the problem. He's a one-trick pony. 
His inverted fullbacks leave us terribly exposed at the back. None of the central midfielders protect the, the back two, effectively. Keep a look. Great shot stopper, a bit nervous. Mm. But unfortunately, I, I think the biggest thing with Postacoglu is if you look throughout his career, who he's come up against, every single manager in the Premier League is probably better than anyone he's come up against in his career. And you, you cannot play one way in the Premier League. Arsenal adapted. They stuck 10 men behind the ball, brought us on the break, set pieces. Everybody knew that was going to happen. And unfortunately, you have to have a plan B or C, and he doesn't have one. Jonathan, would you not, would you not agree that I thought Spurs started the game quite well, and I thought actually the start of the second half, they, they showed good intent again. Okay. No, but the intention is great, but when you get into these wide positions, you know, he wants the ball played wide, which is fine. I think there were only one or two instances when Johnson tried to take on Timber, who I also thought had a very good game. And unfortunately, yeah. our quality when we got into those areas, but also in the second half, when we did get behind them a bit more, there was only Son and Solanke in the box, and there were at least five or six Arsenal shirts. That, you know, it breaks my heart to say it, but they are a great, well-drilled side with much better players than us all over the park. So, you know, it was, well, it was okay, a Jonathan. usual <coughs> thing, wasn't it? You know, they had... really, really appreciate your call, mate. We're going to try and get a few in this morning, so thanks very much for taking the time. And another lad that's done that is John. John's a sports fan. Good morning, John. How are you feeling this morning? Yeah, morning. Uh, as always, Phil, when Tottenham play lately, uh, the, the problem is, the overall problem is Daniel Levy. But yeah, without a doubt, Posta Coglu, I think he's out of his depth. He's got one way of playing and he won't adapt to it. He won't change style. I mean, the more worrying thing is, if we get more injuries, he'll continue to play this style, which leaves, leaves us more exposed. I mean, when you look, See, at, I, when you look I, at it, Rock, we, we have, we've got Bergevall on the bench. We've got... Great, Archie Gray on the bench. I mean, this summer, Daniel Levy's gone all Hogwarts, right? He's bought all the kids, right? So, why didn't he play him yesterday? He's bought on Werner, who's a shot, who's a busted flush. He can't do nothing. Put the kids in. Put the kids in, give him a go. Bergevall, he was exactly the player that we needed to, to, to make something happen. Make, mm-hmm. make a spark. That's what we needed. And he went with Werner. He went with a safe bet, a winger. That cannot supply anything. I must and I'm admit, afraid yeah, he's gone by Christmas. He's gone by Christmas. I'm telling you because it, it, this is what's going to happen with Tottenham. We, we're just we, we might win Wednesday against Coventry. We'll probably win again at the weekend, and the easily fooled will go. Oh look, we're back. We're back. We're scoring goals. Blah blah blah. But the fact is that we'll, we'll remain vulnerable because of the way he plays. Yeah, it's a look, John. Good call, and and I totally agree mm-hmm. with regards to Timo Werner. I was surprised, Ali, that yeah, that they bought him in the me. summer. Exactly. I mean, look, Timo, when he was in Germany, he he obviously was amongst the goals. He came to Chelsea, and he looked short, short of confidence and genuine belief all round. And and I didn't think he showed anything that much last year uh, in a in a Spurs shirt. So for them to to uh, to go and, and it, do it do it again and bring him back again. I was really surprised at that when I was. I've got to be honest with you. He's not going to be the difference. He's no, he's not. not going is to be the difference to, 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 to make you one in something. And not and, one in and, something. Simple and as the point John as that, makes. The, the point John makes there about they've they've got some good young players now that they've heavily invested heavily in, and you'd have thought maybe maybe yesterday that uh, that, that 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 maybe Ange would have turned turned you know their attention to one or two of those instead of the likes of Timo Werner. To Absolutely. try and make a difference, because as soon as I saw him coming on, and you could kind of feel and hear, which is a bit unfortunate for him, the player, but you kind of feel and hear I, you, from the terraces that the, the, the pun, punters aren't having it. You can sense it, mate. It's not a good feeling at all. No. All right, Paul, 03717 4 is the number that Richard, Jonathan and John have called. How flat are you feeling this morning after another Derby loss? Less loss even. Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6am on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.